Hey guys, I'm Ken Domic and I am at Emilia Cayo Coco in Cuba. Uh, we've been here for about eight days now and I wanted to do a walkthrough. We were here about two years ago when I did my first walkthrough and a few things have changed so I thought I'd do an update video for anybody who's thinking about coming to this awesome resort. So I've turned my mic around and I've got a nice big puff on the top to help with the wind. It's a very windy day today. And uh, as we walk through, I'm not gonna edit anything out. It's gonna be a full walkthrough, unedited. And uh, you guys will get to see and experience what this resort feels like, what it looks like. I'm trying to get this done before even more people start wandering around, trying to not put too many people in the video if I can help it. But this is the front entrance. I love these open concept entrances. Uh, just to give people with mobility issues a heads up. They do have ramps here to get uh, up to the lobby level and they have ramps leading out of this area. And I have met people here with mobility issues and they love it here. Very accommodating. It's getting close to Christmas, so they're getting all the Christmas decorations up. This is the main lobby bar. Of course, that was registration. They're renovating a room up here and that is going to be the uh, new restaurant, Italian restaurant. Uh, it used to be a discotheque way back in the day. It's been probably closed for about four or five years, but now they've put the money towards getting that into a, um, a restaurant and it's going to be for Italian food. This is the lobby bar. This is the lobby washrooms. This is the smoking lounge outside this area. And they've got these little cabana huts. You can sit there. You can also smoke your cigars. There's also a bar that's set up in the afternoon until the evening. Let's continue on our way. They often have a little drink area. You can just pour your own iced tea or whatever they have every morning. But I totally recommend if you love your coffee and your lattes, come down here in the morning first thing, get that finish up that and then this is the buffet area for right now breakfast is going on and uh, 7 30 till 10 a.m. lunch is 2 30 to 2 us uh, 2 30 this is something something's wrong here but I think it's open. oh there it is it's 12 30 to 2 30 the one is missing and then 7 till 10 and I'll just do a quick little show you how big it is huge long all-you-can-eat buffet they have like a center island with lots of other fruits. I've done videos on that as well. Moving on back out here. This is the layout of the resort. So we just walked in the main entrance and we're gonna be walking all the way around and showing you everything that I can. Again, here's a ramp to get out and there are cats. There are cats here that wait for people to leave the dining areas. Meow. Very friendly. They'll sit on your lap. And of course they just want food. <laughs> Sometimes they want attention, but most of the time they want food. They have an outdoor shower here for when you get out of the pool. Giant chessboard. Coconut trees everywhere. Water feature. If you go up the stairs, which we will, uh, there's an area up there for like wedding parties and uh, other events. They also have romantic dinner for two. Uh, they have like three little booths up there that they do that. There's a beautiful pool. This whole area is for, uh, it's very shallow here, but they set up a volleyball net and that's been there since I've ever come here. Back in 2013, if you look it up on the internet, there, th this used to be so lush full of trees overhanging the pool not but the um, I can't remember what year they had a very very big hurricane and uh, wrecked all the trees so they're starting from scratch this resort does an amazing job at keeping this place looking tip-top uh, the other day they were repainting all these um, little sitting areas cabanas again that's the buffet area this is the theater and uh, they pretty much have a show every single night 
there is a store right here and uh, they are open pretty much every day from what I've seen again if you love theater they do a great job uh, this used to be a bar uh, but now they have like a little trolley that they bring out stuff I'm not sure why they they changed that but uh, this is also the area where you get your towels exchanged when you get into your room for the first time sorry about the wind if it's getting too windy guys but you get two towels in your room and then every day if you want you can come and exchange them so you go down to the beach you get it saturated with salt water and, and sand then you just come down to that little booth right over there and just uh, they'll give you a brand new one every single day lots of areas to, to lounge then they've got these little more lounging rooftop cabanas there's the beautiful ocean this is one of my favorite views right here look at that so this is the 24 hour uh, bar plus restaurant you can get mini pizzas burgers cheeseburgers sandwiches uh, up top is one of the a la carte and uh, I think it's the same menu every single uh, night but you have to sign up to get that and this is just an outdoor sitting area for food we're not going to go down to the beach just yet I want to take you around one more spot just want to show you how close the beach is so they have these little walkways raised walkways above the this area mangrove Apparently this used to be 10 to 20 feet high of mangrove until the hurricane hit and just wiped it all out. Luckily a lot of the trees survived. Beautiful walkways. Again, they keep the grounds here just tip top shape. They do a fantastic job. If you ever come here, bring down a few extra Blue Jays shirts or hats and give them out to the groundskeepers because they love it. Nice trellis. There's the bar. There's also the washrooms right here, Banos, men and women's. Some of these buildings are four units, some of them are six to eight. So let's just do this little walkway because it is gorgeous. Nice little water features. They got fish in here. They got tortuga turtles. There's a wellness center. You can get massages, that's extra. Again, beautiful walkway around. I love sitting in these huts. So there are turtles in here. Sometimes you can see them. Sometimes you can't. They hide underneath the cabanas. There's the fish. We'll uh, walk up and over the top. They've been doing a lot of painting this week, touching up things here and there. Oh, water feature, cool. They usually have lights in here. Making our way up. Again, they have like little events things I personally haven't seen any events up here here are three little dinner areas or sitting you can use them anytime you want until uh, dinner time then they might ask you to to vacate because they have the romantic dinner for two up here. My wife and I sat at this one once. That is a jacuzzi. This is that, I think that's the first time I've seen it actually working like that. Uh, so they got the bubbles going, the little jets. Most of the time it's just, it was just like an extra part of the pool for lounging. 
again let me know in the comments if you like these full walkthroughs and updates because things do change there was a banana tree at the at the front I forgot to show you so this is the uh, workout center exercise if you're want to lift some weights ride a bike run on a treadmill I'm not sure if it's open no it opens at a certain time I guess we'll head down to the beach area where it is going to be even more windy just before I turned the camera on, we had a huge downpour. And then, of course, it blows over in a couple minutes and then it's sunny again. If you uh, happen to be walking around with a glass, you just put your glass in there and they'll pick it up later. There's another cat over there. Lots of coconut trees. Uh, if you see groundskeepers, they have like hats on that they make and you can uh, purchase those hats. They'll ask you uh, if you want a coconut. This is where we're staying. This is building 89. We stayed in this room one time and we got the ocean view. On the way up from the beach, they have showers you wash off the sand and the salt. They just finished painting this walkway. So it was closed all yesterday. And it looks like they closed it today, but somebody used it to uh, move some stuff. One of the workers pushed it down and then used this two-wheel dolly. It's funny, they, they don't put up a sign saying wet paint, they just block it and they don't tell why people block it and then they they go around it I guess but just so sometime in the past some of these had uh, screened in porches but the screen screens have been damaged I guess and they haven't replaced them yet let's just make our way over here this is one of the buildings that we frequent when we're down at the beach this is the beach bar this is another restaurant hola uh, so this is a lunch buffet you can do lunch buffet in here they have special dinners in here uh, they have every night they alternate between I think it's called the Ranchon or the Cuban and the International and I'll show you why they do that in a minute but beautiful thatched roofing they have barbecue here today is actually called Cuba Day so they're gonna have a pig roast so I look forward to that hola they just built this I'm not this year because it wasn't here last um, uh, November so 13 months ago was the last time we were here and uh, that I don't think was there they also have Wi-Fi at the beach if you need to work like I do and here's the outdoor or the beach bar and sitting area they sometimes have painting here they have volleyball bocce ball all kinds of there's Carol my wife is getting our chairs ready but they have all the covered cabanas out here to protect you from the sun they have lots of games that keep you very entertained if you want they don't force you to do anything they just ask and if you want to do it hola, then you're you're golden this is a uh, our favorite beach bar there is my my license plate that I donated to my favorite little bar in Cuba and usually the gentleman that works here his name is Jesus so drop by and say hi you got all kinds of Canada paraphernalia 
Uh, then we have stuff from, where is it? We got some stuff from the States. Not that too many people from the States come here. And so we got a lot of Russians. All right, and Brazil, right? Venezuela. So let's keep moving. Uh, for, for whatever reason, this time, uh, one of the things I gravitated towards at the buffets was the lamb. And they had like a lamb stew and it was fantastic. So I'd load up on the lamb stew and fish and I ate that most of the time. It was good. Now we're heading over to the sports complex, which they are renovating. If you watched my last video from two years ago, it was in full operation. Uh, I think maybe they weren't doing a couple of the activities because we were still kind of recovering from the lockdown and all that and all the restrictions. So they've come a long way. Sorry about the lighting. It's probably really dark. So they're re... It looks like they're pulling down the roof and they're going to rethatch it. But that was the gaming area. You could do boxing. Of course, here's, they have two tennis courts. So I think I talked to the management and they said uh, it was damaged. I think we're going to have to walk around because they're just dropping it down. But uh, they had archery, shuffleboard. They had like foosball and other games, but obviously I can't walk through there right now. But they ripped up the flooring. So I can't wait till they finish all that. I have to do a little bit of a backtrack. Trying to walk as quickly as I can without huffing and puffing. And I, the other reason I wanted to do this in the morning is because it's going to get hot later on. And I remember the last time I did this. It was very hot. There's the other tennis court. So as you saw by the layout of the, the area, it's um, like big and round. Uh, you can just, it's like a big loop. You can't really get lost. And I think my wife and I stayed in that building. I think that's 74. This is 81, just to give you guys an idea. And that's how they heat the water for your showers on the roof, solar panels, help keep cost of electricity down here's some remnants of a hurricane tree got blown over and they trimmed it up as best they can but this left it as is there's a couple spots where it's actually pulled up the concrete and they put the concrete back but left the big hump of a tree there so nice when the, the clouds are just here and there and they got that blue sky beautiful blue, blue sky here it is so the tree got knocked over you can see the stump got knocked over that way luckily it didn't probably damage the building pulled up the ground pulled up all this concrete and then they pushed the concrete back down and this is all grown back now so this is going to be another restaurant and uh, there's another tree that they had to cut down. So two years ago it, the building was here but now they're renovating it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh they used to have like a trellis along here too. I think they used to do maybe weddings in the past because this is the way it looked. There used to be uh, wooden trellises all down here. So, again, I asked, oh, they're actually putting these ones up now. So they've, I'm not sure if this is the stuff that's going up or the stuff they've taken down. I have to make a little detour. It's 
So they had a, a caiman here, crocodile, for a bit. I'm not sure where it came from, but they, they've sent it off to a, uh, a sanctuary or whatever. Yeah, so these are the doors that they had on the building. I guess they're going to repurpose them, hopefully. They also have a full garden here and a banana plants. And uh, they grow their own mint for the mojitos. Oh, here's some more banana trees. Oh, there's some bananas growing right there. Here is the lagoon rooms. I'm not sure if these are in full operation. They're renovating some of the lagoon rooms. I'm not sure which ones. Uh, I know which ones are, but I'm not sure which ones are not. This, this is not roped off, so I'm guessing that you can still get those lagoon rooms. You have to be a little bit careful because over there is the Pullman Hotel and uh, it's a family hotel and it, it has very loud music at nighttime. So these will uh, hear the music. Let's make our way down this way. You'll get the boom, boom, boom of that music when you're trying to sleep, if you're trying to sleep early. Here are more lagoon rooms. We haven't stayed in those ones. We stayed in, I think, the third building on this lagoon docked area. The room we stayed in, uh, I think was the biggest room out of this pod of uh, lagoon rooms uh, because it shared, I was on the main floor and it shared uh, part of the building with like a towel storage area. So uh, it was much larger room than the other pods. We love that room too. We almost have gone full circle. I almost want to, I'm definitely going to rewatch my last video, see how much these trees have grown. Here's another little pod. I think there's three buildings here. Each has about four rooms. If I can remember correctly, this tree right here is a royal palm and I don't recall it having that much foliage on the top so I think it's recovering because the woodpeckers do some damage to them. So the building that used to be here was called the International and they did special breakfast for guests who uh, had upgraded rooms so you could get freshly made food right for you. You didn't have to go to the main buffet to get your breakfast. So it was damaged in the hurricane and then I think they managed to get a few years out of it and then part of it collapsed so they tore the rest down and now they're discussing with the government what they can and cannot do here because uh, I think there's like all this environmental stuff that they have to think about. And this is the plans for it anyway. So it's gonna be, I guess we're down here. They're gonna have a very large dinner area. Uh, it looks like they have some office stuff maybe. And then they have a nice terrace up, up the top bar. That's gonna be very cool. I can't wait till they finish that. Hopefully they get it done in the next year or two. Again, lots of paths leading in every direction possible. You can't get lost here. We are now headed towards the billiard and darts bar. And these are all the shops. We're basically facing towards the main lobby again. 
This is a little medical center if you need attention for if you have an injury or something. Uh, they have multiple shops. They sell everything from suntan lotion to other kinds of beer that you might want to try, t-shirts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the last time I did a walkthrough, this uh, awning wasn't up. And uh, this is, I think, about four years ago it was up and then got damaged by a major windstorm. And then it took about two years for them to re-put it back, but it looks beautiful. And it protects you from the sun, the rain, if you wanted to shop. Here's the billiard bar. So they got billiard tables too, and the dartboards at the back left there. Then they have a terrace on the front, so you can take your drinks and sit out there and watch the sunset. The sun sets over that way. And uh, but it's nice coming here because it's usually not packed, so you get your drinks very very quickly. Uh, when you go to the main lobby, everybody's at the main lobby, so getting drinks takes a while. Here's my favorite lagoon pod. Uh, so the room my wife and I had the pleasure of staying in was 1111 but they're renovating all of them uh, again because of this damages from storms in the past uh, they need to renovate them but again they need the thumbs up A-OK -okay from the government but my wife and I stayed in the bottom of the first pod there we go yeah 1111 that was our favorite Plus you just go right from here. If you wanna go play billiards, if you wanna go into the lobby, go into the shops, everything was really close. So, oh, there's a fan palm, beautiful tree. And we are almost done. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I will try to answer them over the next couple years until I do another walkthrough when some of this stuff is all finished. So we're coming back up to the lobby. Uh, this again is the cigar smoking lounge area. Even if you're not smoking, you can sit here, obviously. And sometimes they've had ice cream here, sometimes during the day. At nighttime, they definitely have uh, between four and 11 p.m. They have a bar and beer on tap. But I love this protecting from the sun. Uh, this is guest experience. Uh, here you can buy rum, cigars. They're not open just quite yet. And I think one of the bottles of rum in there is like over $800 US, if I can remember. That's storage, and that's another shop right here. Again, not open until probably nine o'clock. And we are now back to the main lobby. So once again, we walked through. Walked around all the way up here, walked to the end at the beach, and then walked all the way around. So there is a pod of three, pod of three, large pod three. That's the international, which is not there any anymore. And then that pod of six. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that walk through uh, December 2023. Uh, it'll probably look very similar to this for the next six months to a year. So uh, again, if you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll respond. Thanks for watching, have a great day.